Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss how to find the mean and variance of the sampling distribution of sample means. So, uh, suggest ko sa inyo na sana panoorin nyo muna yung sampling distribution of sample mean bago ito. Kasi karugtong, ito nung, karugtong yung video lesson na ito, yung sampling distribution. Para hindi kayo mahirapan sundan yung mga step dito. Okay, so the properties of the sampling distribution of sample mean, so to compute the population mean is also the mean of sample in sampling distribution. So taken from the population, so or pwede natin gamitin yung formula na to, the summation of the popula uh, population mean or the sample mean rather, no? this is the sample mean times the corresponding uh, probability. And then the variance of the sampling distribution of the sample means uh, is given by. So, pwede tayo gumamit ng formula na to. Pwede nyo gamitin yung formula na to. So, that is the sigma squared for sampling distribution of sample means is the summation of the probability of the corresponding sample mean times okay, the sample mean minus the population mean squared. So, pwede ito or ito. Or pwede rin ganito, class, para mas uh, konti yung formula na gagamitin. For finite population or for without replacement, no? ito yung pwede natin gamitin yung formula. Pwede rin ito. Aside dito, pwede rin itong formula na to. And then for infinite population, so pwede itong formula na gamitin nyo. Pwede itong formula na to ang gamitin nyo. And then, for the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of sample mean, okay, uh, di ba pag standard deviation, square root lang ng variance. So, pag kukunin natin yung standard deviation ng uh, finite population o yung without replacement, kunin lang natin yung square root nito. And then, uh, ganun din. So, itong square root of n minus n, over n minus 1, tinatawag natin yan na correction factor. Okay? And then, ito naman, pwede, kunin nyo lang itong square root nito, that is for infinite population. Okay? So, that is for uh, properties of the sampling distribution of sample mean. Ay, hindi pala class ha, uh, pag sa sampling distribution of sample mean, yung uh, variance natin sa standard deviation. So, ito lang yung sa standard deviation, sa infinite population, di, ito lang yung kukunin yung square root. So, ganun din dito sa uh, finite population. Okay, so ano naman yung mga steps in constructing the sampling distribution of the sample means? Okay, first, compute the population mean. And then, Number two, compute the population variance. Number three, determine the number of possible samples. And number four, list all possible samples and their corresponding means. And number five, construct the sampling distribution of the sample means. And number six, compute the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample means. And number seven, compute the variance of the sampling distribution of the a, uh, of the sample means. And last, construct the histogram. So, ibig sabihin class, itong walong steps na to ang kailangan natin para makuha natin yung sampling distribution of the sample means. So, for the given problem, so ito, ay, ito yung problem na binigay ko doon sa previous video lesson about sampling distribution. So, kaya... Si, Nere-request ko sa inyo na panoorin nyo muna yon para mabilis na lang no, masundan nyo yung video lesson na to. Okay, a population consists of the numbers 2, 4, 9, 10, and 5. So, let us list all the possible sample size of 3 from this population and compute the mean and variance of the sampling distribution of the sample means. First, compute the population mean. So, Pag na-recall natin, paano natin gawin using the formula, that is the summation of x over n. So, ano ba yung mga given natin? That is 2, 4, 9, 
10 and 5. So, ang gagawin lang natin, add lang natin yung lima na yon and divide by 5. Kasi yung 5, that is the number of elements. So, meron tayong limang elements, so divided by 5. And 2 plus 4 plus 9 plus 10 plus 5, that is 30. 30 divide 5, the answer is 6. Next step, number 2, compute the population variance. So, ano yung formula? So, ito yung formula natin. The sigma squared is equal to the summation of x minus the population mean squared over n. So, yung population mean natin, ito yon yung 6. So, ang gagawin lang natin, isa-subtract lang natin, no? Isa-isa. So, 2 minus 6 tapos squared plus 4 minus 6 squared. So, lahat ng ito, i-minus natin sa population mean natin. And plus... 9 minus 6 squared plus 10 minus, uh, this is 6 squared. And plus, check natin ulit class. Okay, so after natin, masimplify itong nasa taas natin. And divided by 5, so the answer is 9.2. So, yung population variance natin is 9.2. Since meron tayong walong steps, meron pa tayong anim na steps na gagawin. Step number 3, determine the number of possible samples. So, using the formula, pwede nyo gamitin using the formula. Okay, so pinakita natin yan kung paano ginagawa. Or using your calculator, merong symbol kayo makikita doon uh, sa calculator nyo for combination. And uh, dito, using the formula, so meron tayong 10 possible sample of size 3 no na makukuha from the given data all right next is step number 4 is to list all the possible samples and their corresponding means okay so from the 5 given data so meron tayong 10 sample size of 3 na makukuha and that is 249 2, 4, 10. So, ito yung 10 possible samples sa 2, 4, 5, 2, 9, 10, 2, 9, 5, 2, 10, 5, 4, 9, 10, 4, 9, 5, and 4, 10, 5, and 9, 10, 5. So, after nyan, kukumputin natin yung bawat samples of size 3, yung kukumputin natin yung mean nila. So, 2 plus 4 plus 9 divide 3, the answer is 5. 2 plus 4 plus 10 divide 3, the answer is 5.33. 2 plus 4 plus 5 divide 3, the answer is 3.67. 2 plus 9 plus 10 divide 3, the answer is 7. 2 plus 9 plus 5 divide 3, the answer is 5.33. 2 plus 10 plus 5, the answer is 5.67. 4 plus 9 plus 10, then divide 3, the answer is 7.67. 4 plus 9 plus 5, divide 3, the answer is 6. And 4 plus 10 plus 5, divide 3, that is 6.33. And 9 plus 10 plus 5, divide 3, the answer is 8. So ito yung uh, 10 possible samples with their corresponding means. Next. Step number 5 is to construct the sampling distribution of the sample means. So, sa sampling distribution, ito yung kailangan natin makita. Okay, the sample mean. Okay, yung column ng sample mean. The frequency and then the probability. Okay, so dito, i-arrange natin mula sa mababa pataas. Okay, so ano yung pinakamababang mean natin dito? 3.67. So ilan yung 3.67 natin dito? Isa lang. So the probability is 1 over 10 or 0.10. Si 5, so ilan yung 5? Yung sunod na uh, sample mean natin is 5. Isa lang din. So 1 over 10 din. Next is 5.33. Since meron tayong dalawang 5.33, so yung frequency natin is 2. So, therefore, the probability is 2 over 10 or 0.20. So, ang mga susunod na ay tigi-isa na lang yung frequency, no? Ang sunod sa 5.33 natin is 5.67, 6, okay, 6.33, 7, 7.67, 8, okay, so... 
Again, dito class sa sample mean, pag ginawa na natin yung sampling distribution, so ito lang yung makikita natin, the sample mean, the frequency, and then the probability. And then arrange natin yung sample mean natin dito from lowest to highest, then identify natin kung ilan, no? ilan, ilan yung 5.33, ilan yung 5.67. Kung ilan yung some possible samples, yun yung, yung denominator nyo dito. Halimbawa, 8 possible samples lang dito. So, 1 over 8 lang siya. So, dito kasi, 10 sila. So, that, that is 1 over 10. So, ganyan yung sampling distribution. And then, kapag chinect natin, so kapag in natin yung frequency natin, dapat 10 yan. And then, kapag in natin to yung total prob uh, yung probability natin, that is equal to 1 dapat. Okay? So, yung step number 5. Next is step number 6. Iko-compute natin yung mean of the sampling distribution of sample mean. So, using the formula, okay, the sample mean times the corresponding probability. So, yung summation ng sample mean times the corresponding probability. So, lahat ito, no, gagawin natin. So, isa-isa, 3.67 times 0.10 plus 5 times 0.10 plus 5.33 times 0.20 plus 5.67 times 0.10 plus 6 times 0.10 plus 6.33 times 0.10 plus 7 times 0.10 plus 7.67 times 0.10 plus 8 times 0.10 So, ganun ang pag-compute ng uh, Mean of the sampling distribution of the sample means. And then kapag sinu using your calculator, the answer is 6. So, ano yung napansin nyo sa sagot natin? Pareho siya nung population mean natin. No? Kung balikan natin yung computation natin, same sila. Bakit? Sabi ko nga kanina, no? nung binasa natin, that the mean of the population is equal to the sampling distribution of the sample mean. Okay, kahit hindi mo na gawin ito, kapag nakuha mo yung population mean, yun din ang sagot nung mean of the sampling distribution of the sample means. So dito, pinakita ko, sa, pinakita ko lang sa inyo na using this formula, ay makukuha din natin yung mean of the sampling distribution of the sample means. Pero, once na nakuha natin, di ba sa step number 1 natin, yung step number 1 natin is to compute the population mean so, kung may sagot na kayo sa step number 1, yun din ang sagot nyo sa step number 6. Okay? Next. Okay, the step number 7, compute the variance of the sampling distribution. So, ito class ang gagamitin natin formula. Okay? Ito ang gagamitin ng formula. So, that is the probability times the sample mean minus the population mean squared. Okay? Ulitin natin. Summation of the probability times the sample mean minus the population mean squared. So, ito muna. 0.1 or 0.10 times 3.67 minus 6. So, saan galing yung 6? That is the population mean. Then squared plus 0.1 times 5 minus 6 squared. Sa hanggang sa makadulating kayo dito sa dulo. Okay? So, that is 0.10 uh, times 8 minus 6 squared. So, kapag kinumpute nyo yan, makukuha nyo 1.53. Sir, napakahaba naman. Meron pang isang formula na pwede nyo gamitin. ba kanina, dun sa first slide, may pinakita kong formula. So, pwede ito yung gamitin yung formula. Okay? Kapag ito yung gamitin yung formula to compute the variance of the sampling distribution of the sample means ay parehas lang dito. So, hindi ganun kahaba no, yung solution nyo. So, ang gagawin lang natin, identify lang natin yung, mga, uh, yung formula natin kung ano yung value nyan. Ito ay the population variance. So, yung population variance natin kanina, that is 9.2. Yung n, that is the population size. So, meron tayong 5. Yung small letter n, that is the sample size. And then, substitute lang natin. 9 divide 2, divide 3 times. 
Kasi yung n natin is 5 minus 3, so 2 yan. 5 minus 1, that is 4. So, simplify, the answer is 1.53. So, parehas lang sila. So, nasa sa inyo class kung ito yung gagamitin yung formula or ito. Okay, so, and the last step is to compute the, ano, construct the histogram. So, pag kinonstruct yung histogram, dito ilagay natin yung probability natin at dito sa baba yung uh, sample mean natin. So, itatapat lang natin kung hanggang saan. Yung 3.67 natin hanggang kay 1 over 10 lang. So, hanggang dyan lang. Si 5 kay 1 over 10 lang din. Si 5.33 hanggang kay 2 over 10. Si 5.67 hanggang 8 kay 1 over 10 lang. So, ganito lang ang pag-construct ng histogram. So, again, so yan yung walong steps ng pag uh, gawa ng variance and or to compute the mean and variance of sampling distribution of the sample means. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.